So today we have three different models of the Nanolux available. I'm going to explain what each one does and its features. So I'm going to introduce today right now the first one will be the flip ballast and I'm going to show you some features on it. There, is, uh, there are two lamp cords that leave the ballast. Uh, this is the 1000 watt model. We will soon have the 600 watt model. And what you can do with this is you can power two bulbs with one ballast. Not at the same time, but you can alternate them 12 hours on, 12 hours off, 12 hours on, 12 hours off. So this will allow you to basically run um, one ballast in two, two different grow tents or two different rooms. Um, I'm actually going to invite Ryan up here to explain a little bit about some of the other features and some of the benefits that you can use when you're running a flip ballast. As you know, Monster Gardens is one of the folks that actually showed flip boxes for the very first time on the web because we really see the value for folks using a flip box in a lot of situations, but it's not always going to be the best suit for you in a particular situation. What are some of the benefits, Ryan? What are, what are some of the benefits that you find in using a flip ballast? Why would you want to use one? So there might be numerous reasons why somebody would want a flip ballast. And this is the first ballast that has a flip box and a ballast intertwined as one product. So the real value we see is this. You might have a mother room or a veg room and say you have two lights in that room and you only want one particular light on at a time. This is a product that you can purchase that will either replace a light mover if you're using something of the sort in order to do that or you're thinking of using something of the sort and concerned over moving equipment in your garden when you're not there. Uh, this is a product that would obviously light up to a 4x8 space with two obviously 1000 watt reflectors covering about a 4x4 four four. so you could feasibly actually light two lights back and forth in the same room um, replacing maybe a light mover or especially replacing uh, having two ballasts set on timers. So that's definitely one use of the product. But here's another one. Perpetual harvest have become a really hot topic in the industry because a lot of gardeners don't necessarily want to take down a, a large garden at one period of time. But what they want to do is section off that large garden to multiple phases. So they're harvesting maybe every week, every two weeks, or every three weeks, but they're not taking down a large harvest at once. If you are a gardener that's looking to do a perpetual harvest, say you have two grow rooms with a single light in each, or you have two grow tents, this is a ballast that you could purchase that would flip 12 hours in one tent or one room and then flip to the next room 12 hours on that. So you could feasibly have two flowering rooms at the very same time off of one ballast. So this is really a, a unique product that we see here at Monster Gardens and we really appreciate you bringing it to market because now a customer can buy one component where before they had to buy two. So the two on one ballast and uh, right now we have it in the 1000 watt model and soon there will be the 600 watt model. When you're buying a digital ballast, what's important to know is that digital ballast will not run for an infinite period of time. Um, even magnetic ballast over a certain period probably should be replaced because the capacitor becomes weak and the actual light output does change a little bit. So that being said, if you are in the market to buy new lighting, know that whatever lighting you're going to purchase is going to be typically, what would you say, about a three to five year lifespan? Five and years, you, yeah. yeah, you're usually repurchasing your, your lights about every three to five years. And, you know, gardeners that have been doing it for a while like the components to be separated so if they have a problem with one they can replace that individual component and not the whole kit and caboodle. Right. So if you're concerned over that, know this. This product has a three year warranty. So as long as you have this product um, within that three year period, if you have any issues with it, it is warranted for three years and uh, it's also backed by one of the largest distributors in the industry. One of the features I like about this is that you know it has the same same uh, flexibility, the dimmability of the same. Uh, you, can, you have two LED uh, outputs here, it tells you which lamp it's being powered. So you don't have to actually go into the tent or in the, into the grow room to see which one's on. We'll know from here. Um, this part right here uh, lights up in green, which is kind of nice to look at. So the customer at home might ask ourselves, how does the ballast know when to flip? That's an important aspect. So what we have here is the same thing you've seen off of a flip box. We have a plug that goes to your trigger cord, which is going to plug into any type of timer. I mean, literally, it's, the timer is not going to be powering the ballast. Any type of timer you might have at home or you want to purchase for as cheap as $10 through our store uh, will basically signal this ballast to flip back and forth. And Carlos, answer this question, does it have to be 12 hours on, 12 hours it off? It does not. Both your lamp outputs are on one side for convenience. It, uh, there is a fan on it uh, and a passive in, uh, intake through it. Uh, this is actually the first Nanolux ballast. And as you can see here, what they've done, 
the new mounting bracket sides of the flip ballast actually are raised slightly so it's not going to sit flat up against a wall it's going to create a little bit of an air gap and that's Correct. great um, it's got standard keyholes in order to mount it onto the wall it's got an integrated fuse inside that can be replaceable so those folks that have had ballast that needed to replace fuses in the past you have that option available to you so that's an analex flip ballast these are going to be available very soon if you're watching this video you're watching this video before they actually hit the u.s shore right. so good job for watching all right, this next one's pretty interesting, Ryan. I would like to show, show this to you. This is called the Cube. The Cube Ballast. The Cube e <laughs> It has a little bit of that Apple, you know, the Mac uh, concept, you know, design concept on it. What I do like about this ballast, though, is if you have several of them, they mount from the back. They have a bracket that, they, that you can mount on the wall. And what I do like about this one is that when you have, like, you know, more than, like, two or three or five and up, they all will mount like this. And the button, the control button is right in the front. It's pretty easy. I mean, it's just one single button. You can't go wrong. Uh, it shows you the status and it shows you the, dim, the, uh, the dimming function on each one, 100%, 100%, 50%. And I like it because the cold air comes up through the fan and the you know, hot air wants to, wants to rise. It warms up in the ballast and the, and the, air, the air rises So uh, through this vent here. And it's, it's kind of like the, both, both the power cord and the lamp cord are down here on the bottom. So when you dim, it's like, it's like, a, it's like a perfect, you know, perfect face to, uh, to, to, to work with. The coolest feature I recognize with this ballast is the fact that the lamp cord and the power output are on the bottom. Correct. I, I definitely think that that's probably the, the best setup that I've seen. So you're having way. cords coming in through the left and the right, right. And the up and the down, you actually have the cords coming out both ways. But let's admit this, it's getting gimmicky here in the, in the ballast <laughs> market, but it's okay. There, this ballast obviously has the same power factor, has the same internal capacity that's running the Nanolux here. You're getting essentially the same components in a cube. So, you know, it's, it, it, it's, it's cool to see stuff that's different. The functionality of the cube doesn't change the, how the ballast operates other than the way the cords come into the ballast. In so fact, definitely know that. In fact, Ryan, it is the same circuit. Oh, it's the same as It's the same circuit, circuit just different extru ex external extrusion on it. So, uh, once again, it's a, it's a design concept. I think it's pretty neat. Uh, you know, at first I resisted this, and then I looked at it, I was like, well, this is actually pretty, uh, pretty convenient for the user. I wish you could mount it this way because then it could become another shelf in my grip. No. <laughs> The Rolls-Royce for the Nanolux is, is the, uh, the original Nanolux. Yeah, if you look at High Times Magazine, you probably saw about two years ago that there this actually won the Stash Awards for the best lighting product about two years Correct. ago. Um, this is, of course, the lightest, the brightest, the leanest, the sexiest, and the smallest ballast in the industry. It is only 2.2 pounds. As like I mentioned, I can hold it up with my pinky. Um, it has interesting fans on the side. I want to mention something that is not is not available in any other Nanolex brochure or video. Um, we have been involved in this ballast for a long time. Both of these fans are actually redundant. If the fans were to fail, the ballast would still be just as cool. They were only out of there for really for marketing purposes. Yeah, it's it, they didn't want to be the only vented ballast that had no integrated fan. Uh, you know, a lot of growers like to uh, mimic what they've seen or want their equipment to mimic what they've seen. And so they really added the, the fans in here for, for redundancy. Um, so if, you know, you're a customer that's concerned over, um, you moving know, parts. moving parts or fans integrating your ballast, you're getting that with this product, but, it, but again, you're not necessarily needing them. Now, the vent channels right here, this is actually where it's drawing the air in. And this is a little bit unique of the fact that it has two air channels that are through this ballast with a partition that's actually safeguarding the circuitry inside. It's a very unique airflow design that we really haven't seen with many other ballasts. And, um, you know, one of the other features that, that this ballast comes with and has had for a while is the fact that they give you all of the status light uh, error codes. So if you have any difficulties with your ballast, you can properly identify it really quick. Um, and be able to circumvent any issues that you're having. But Carlos, tell them the new, the new feature. Okay, so this is, this, this is very exciting. This takes us to a whole new level and no one can touch us. It's the most advanced ballast on the market today. It is basically a cloud ballast. So now with, with the introduction of a USB uh, Wi-Fi radio controller, you can dim, you can turn on, you can turn off, you can program, you can do all kinds of uh, interesting things with all wirelessly done through the cloud. Um, this each individual ballast has a specific number, a receiver, a receiver to it, and um, through your laptop, at 200 meters away, you can turn on, you can turn off, 
You can see if one fails in a grow room, you actually have a bird, bird's eye view of the entire layout of your grow room. And it'll tell you, you know, ballast 005 is off, or this ballast 007 is on, and it needs to be dimmed, etc. You can tell temperature, and, and we're actually integrating all of this into a controller system. So the future is now. Now with the Nanolex company partnering with Monster Gardens in order to help um, R&D some features for this product, what we've been able to identify and develop a smart grid for your grow room. That this is going to map out exactly where your lighting components are located in your grow room and using a computer interface control system so using software on your you computer. can accordingly dim you can accordingly increase the light output of a particular ballast and very soon it's going to have temperature compensating components that will effectively dim your ballast if it notices that there's a, a spike within a particular section of your grow room so pretty soon this Nanolux ballast is going to give you all of the functionality you've never had before. This ballast is really going to be micromanaging the lighting aspect of your garden in regards to power factor and regards to temperature, which is something that most growers have had to do manually themselves, and let's just admit, never perfect at it, and none of us sit in our grow room 24 hours a day effectively changing things on the fly as need be. So this is the first ballast that's really going to give your full grow room all the functionality that your plants need. And the cloud system will be integrated with all your other controllers, your pH controller, your PPM controller, your temperature, your lighting controller, your fan controllers, etc. So it's, it's all going to converge. It's, everything that rises must converge. So this is going to be one from one single interface, which would be your laptop. Now you know where we're going with this, right, Ryan? It, it, where will it be next? Where is it going to go next? It's going to. Let's just admit this: <laughs> is uh, Monster Gardens has been working with this electronics manufacturer and supplier in order to come up with a plethora of different products for your grow room, and pretty soon everything is going to be integrated as one control brain that's going to be affecting your garden while you're not there. And you'll be able to use your app on your phone to manage your entire garden remotely, abroad, it doesn't matter where you are, mm -hmm. whether you're in the garden or not. You can, you can always do it manually. You can always go to each ballast and, and set it manually or you can just do it from your, sooner or later and, from your app phone. And one of the strongest aspects of this is you're buying components from one supplier. It's, this isn't going to be you buying five different components and marrying them together yourself. So this is going to be the first time we've seen a lighting company come out with a solution that's going to affect near every aspect of your garden, done so through a single control interface and doing so when you're not in the garden. This Correct. is huge. This is the soft start of each individual ballast is an important component as well to explain to you. Uh, the soft start of this ballast is actually an important feature. Those gardeners at home, when you turn your bulbs on for the first time of the day, you probably hear a whistle or a hiss. That's called acoustic resonance. That is something your bulb does not like. These ballasts, all of these ballasts that we're going over um, by Nanolux have been designed with a soft start feature so it slowly warms up the bulb. This does two things for you. One, it creates less bulb failures due to having a jolt to the bulb all at once and just allowing it to warm up slowly. The ignition but, wad. But the truth is having the soft start feature is shown to allow bulbs to have a longer longevity. Basically they're going to depreciate at a slower rate due to the soft start and the soft dim. dim. It also has a, uh, you know, which we're gonna, we're gonna show you in just a few minutes. Um, you know, if you happen to step on the power cord or disconnect or there's a power failure, if you can plug it right back in or if the power comes back on, on the, onto the grid, uh, it won't, uh, you can you basically, you can start your bulb hot, through a hot start. It allows your bulb to, to reignite within seconds mm -hmm. of having it been turned off. Before, back in our day, we used to have to wait 30 minutes, especially for metal highlights, for them to cool off, the bulb to cool off before we were able to reignite them again. Nine and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches by two and a quarter inches tall, almost two inches tall, actually. The cube is also a very small ballast. It is approximately five and an, one sixteenth of an inch by five. Is it actually cubed? It's a, it's almost entirely a, a, a cube, but it's five and a quarter and five and one sixteenth of an inch. In comparison to this, here is a standard uh, fan ballast. It weighs approximately nine pounds. Yeah, like nine pounds. I could call. I was say ten pounds, but ten pounds is extruded. It needs a lot of uh, a lot of extrusion for for a heat sink to dissipate the heat. Um, this is old. This is new. Here you can really appreciate, uh, you know, the uh, the difference between between an Analux and your standard uh, ballast in the market today. Big difference: nine pounds, 
two and a half pounds. One of the benefits, of course, of having a flip is that you, you're buying less gear. You can, you're powering basically two bowls of one, with one ballast. And for those of you who are concerned about space and just having equipment, lots of equipment, this is basically two ballast in one. This is basically just one ballast of the old traditional ballast. And yeah, I can feel the weight difference. Uh, the size is the equivalent of one. So, so here we're about to show you the soft start feature of the Nanolex. So after a few minutes, this bowl has been running for about 10 minutes now. It's it has stabilized at about 1052, 1052 watts, 1050 watts, and uh, we are now going to dim 50 percent, or should we dim 75 percent? Do 75. All right, let's do 75. Just wait a minute for the power to stabilize. Now, digital ballasts are always going to run slightly over the 1,000 watts. This is something we've explained in previous videos. Seems like so we see it's hovering about, yeah, about 5%. It looks like it's hovering about 780, 788 watts on the 75%. And we're running this at 120 volt here. Let's go ahead and dim it down to 50. So here we are at 50%. It looks like we're running about 530 to 540 watts. I would like to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video.